so hi everyone you can see this is the experimental setup for uh, the experiment on hartmann's formula so we have to verify the hartmann constants uh, we need to find here so for this experiment here we require spectrometer prism where we have to keep that on the prism table and this is the mercury vapor lamp uh, which is a white light source and here you should know the parts of the spectrometer so this is the telescope and this is as i said prism table and here you can uh, have the two scales on the spectrometer vernier scale and the main scale and here is the collimator when the light uh, source passes from this collimator it is uh, made into straight line or the we can have the straight line beam when it passes from the collimator once it falls on the prism so first we need to calculate here angle of minimum deviation so angle of uh, minimum deviation for prism is 60 degree once we calculate the angle of minimum deviation then we have to uh, keep the telescope towards the edge of the prism uh, so that we should get the spectrum here spectrum of different colors uh, like uh, violet indigo blue green orange red and yellow that is vibjor uh, seven colors we should get when light passes from prism dispersion will takes place so seven colors we will observe so that we have to observe from this telescope once we get the different colors uh, so for calculation uh, we have to consider here three colors violet red indigo or uh, any three colors we have to select to find out the hartmann dispersion formula first what we have to make here the slit width we can adjust from this knob so that uh, the light passes from this collimator and uh, you can make the beam uh, fine using this knob or uh, you can adjust the slit width so once the light passes from the collimator so here uh, that light must be matched to this cross mark of this telescope so here if you see you can see uh, the cross mark is over the slit uh, with that is the beam or we can observe or the light source coming from this slit so next so here if we can see the prism two sides are transparent and one side is opaque so you have to keep the prism on the prism table so that the opaque side must face towards the telescope and the transparent sides must be Uh, facing towards the collimator once the light passes from the collimator it falls on the uh, transparent sides of the prism then you can note down the readings here vernier and uh, main scale reading in the previous videos i have explained how to determine the least count of the spectrometer you can go to those videos least count of the spectrometer is uh, 1 degree celsius and the total reading formula is given by msr plus cvd into least count so cvd uh, the number of lines on the vernier scale 0 to 30 and uh, the main scale where the zeroth of the vernier coincide to the uh, main scale that is what the msr so uh, to measure the angle of minimum deviation or the angle of minimum deviation of prism what we have to do we have to move this telescope to the right and left side so here uh, the telescope is towards right side and the cross mark of this telescope uh, should uh, cross over to the slit width and then 
you should note down here the vernier and main scale reading okay for right side then similarly repeat the same procedure for left side move this telescope towards left side and the cross mark should cross over the slit width note down the vernier scale and main scale calculate the angle of minimum deviation value of r1 and r2 we can calculate the angle of prism here so reading of the left 295 degree and reflected image r2 uh, if we subtract these two and divide it by 2 we will get the angle of prism it is around 60 degree so after calculating the angle of prism we have to determine the angle of prism minimum deviation for different colors so we with gr that is violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red so we have to keep this uh, telescope we have to note down the position of the different colors here with the help of the spectrometer so next once you get the spectrum so minimum three colors you can note down the reading here violet red or indigo any of the three colors from the seven colors and note down here vernier scale and main scale reading then you can uh, go for the calculation for the hertzman constants so this is how you can uh, perform this experiment with the help of spectrometer so uh, let us go for the calculations direct ray reading is useful for the calculation without keeping prism on the prism table we have to take the reading here when light from the source passes from this collimator Uh, then uh, when we observe from this telescope uh, the cross mark should touch uh, matches to the slit width then we should note down here the vernier scale and main scale calculate the total reading using least count for the direct ray then uh, you can use for the calculation so here are the readings for the three colors from the spectral line of mercury so using these values uh, we have to calculate the hertzman dispersion formula constants so the readings are converted into wavelength using following formula lambda n is equal to lambda not plus e divided by mu1 minus mu not so here uh, lambda not c and mu not are constants three are determined using uh, these three wavelengths for corresponding scale reading mu1 mu2 mu3 from the formula so these are the equations for uh, the constants using these formulas we can uh, identify the wavelengths of the mercury lines so here in this tabular column you can see three colors are selected violet green yellow so the corresponding standard wavelength for these colors are given here lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and the straight angular reading from the spectrometer you should note down when you keep the cross mark of the telescope on these colors you should note down the straight angular reading from spectrometer from any one of the window and then direct ray reading you should take without keeping prism on the prism table and then uh, calculate theta take the difference of these two then calculate mu refractive index with the help of this equation sin of a plus theta by 2 sin of a by 2 so theta is from this column and the a is what the angle of minimum deviation for prism and uh, mu1 mu2 mu3 values you will get for the corresponding spectral lines then go for the constants 
first calculate b with the help of uh, refractive index values and then calculate the constant a with the help of wavelength values okay once you get the value of a and b constants you calculate mu naught with the help of this formula a into mu2 minus b mu3 by a minus b you will get the value of mu naught so then calculate the constant c here uh, the formula is given here substitute all the values of lambda mu and mu naught calculate uh, value of constant c that is 0.679 angstrom and then go for uh, calculating the Hertzman dispersion constant lambda naught with the help of this formula lambda equal to lambda naught plus e by mu 1 minus mu naught so here lambda naught you have to find out for different colors all the three colors you should calculate lambda take it as lambda naught 1 2 and 3 and then once you calculate here the values of lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda not 3 add them and divide it by 3 take the average of them you will get the value of lambda naught that is 4199 angstrom so this is how uh, the you can convert the values into wavelengths with the help of Hartman dispersion formula so at the end you can write the result here values of Hartman dispersion constants a equal to 0.65 b mu naught c value and lambda naught 